Hi again. I wanted to film a cool intro clip, but I tripped and was too embarrassed to go up the escalator again. The other day, I've retroactively decided that the Friediger Aero aesthetic is actually really nice. So I went to the most ugly, cute mall I knew of. The glowing neon green walls, colorful clip art, glass hallways with slogans, and random painted white piano really make me feel like I'm in a Windows Vista wallpaper slideshow, but in a good way. It's also deserted on a Friday afternoon, so I didn't have to be near any groups of scary teenagers while filming. <laughs> I'm not really sure how this place stays in business since half of the stores are just displays of stuffed animals, but it's really quite soothing. Stuffed animals won't judge me for dressing like Sinjin from Victorious though, so it's cool. I already blew a lot of cash on claw machines lately, but I couldn't resist going inside since the fake plants and cool ticket machine felt really on theme for today. I'm a person that feels insecure about going to shops and only browsing. Uh, there was no one else there, but it's like, what if the guy in the security camera is judging me, you know what I mean? I tried my luck at a cinema roll one too, but no dice, so I decided to just leave in shame. I feel like they're trying to make up for the lack of shops by stacking the whole venue of claw machines, but thankfully I was talked out of trying out the smaller ones outside. I didn't even bother with the gachapon since it's apparently normal for them to be 1500 yen. Get it together, Bondi Namco. I'm really glad that whatever designers are in charge of mall decorations here are still really tacky. The fake plant wall and the pseudo-futuristic hallways really do make me feel like I'm trapped inside a Walkman cell phone. Did anyone else have one of these? I really wish I didn't throw mine away. I feel like the trade-off when you go to these deserted tiny malls is that there isn't much for variety. Other than this really cool wake sword that made me wish my hair was longer, it was mostly just more claw machines and gachapon. Since today has inadvertently become about claw machines, I decided to bite the bullet and just go to a real arcade. You know, I haven't properly been to an arcade since probably middle school, but they've made it look much prettier than I thought it'd be. It still feels like the 90s though. Not that I was alive back then. I accidentally bought way too many arcade tokens because the cashier had a scary frown, so I thought I might as well have some fun for an hour. I got seduced by this coin game machine since it was so Frutiger Aero aesthetic, but I have the reading comprehension of a toddler, so I couldn't even figure out how to play. You know when this machine started spitting out all these tickets I thought I won big time, but turns out I couldn't even afford to buy a bag of candy. <laughs> I got distracted by all the pretty colors, so I went to the claw machines again. Actually, I didn't even like any of the plushies here, but I ended up winning on my first try anyways. I mean, I don't have anything against Rilakkuma, but this would have been greater if it was Cinema Roll. Before you judge me for having addiction, I actually wanted to try the other games too, but there was an uncle camping out at the Pokemon machine, and some small child was hanging out by the ball game, so I had limited options, okay? I was taunted the entire time by the Miku merchandise just hanging around the arcade. There was actually a set of Miku figures just stuck inside the machine, but I had no idea how to win them. At least I got to see her. I was really desperate to hold Cinemoral in my hands, so I paid a quick visit to the Kuromi and Cinemoral pop-up store they were doing in the area. The lights were really pretty, even though I don't really get what theme they were going for here. But aren't these baby Cinemoral plushies just so cute? Sadly, being near the Sanrio merch only managed to feed me on a spiritual level, so I ended up going to a cafe. I don't drink coffee, but it's always so fun to see the little bottles moving. Whenever I'm here, I always get the gratin. There's something about putting food in a tiny casserole dish that just makes me really happy. I feel like Japanese Italian food always feels lighter than the regular kind. Maybe it's because they use less cream. But I feel less guilty when I'm eating it than normal pasta, which is important because I had to make room for dessert. For dessert, I got waffles. I always feel like I should order fruit waffles since they're healthier and prettier than the ice cream, but I almost never end up doing that. <laughs> Fun fact, I got my phone tripod stuck under the jacket of the stranger sitting next to me in the booth, so I had to talk to him before I left. Very scary. Unfortunately, because I'm impulsive and have poor judgement, I ended up going to the first gachapon I walked past after dinner. And I mean, technically you always win something, so don't you think I can consider this an investment? And they're all little fruits of fat stubby limbs? Isn't that so fun? I won the banana? Not my first choice, but I'll take care of him nonetheless. Out of curiosity, I actually stopped by the Lion Friends store to check out the new jeans merchandise. I don't really buy K-pop merch anymore, but I was pleasantly surprised by how cool the photo card holders are. They really have that 2000s cybercore vibe that I like. And I ended up buying one of the cushions. I was really tempted to get the blue one, 
but I knew the green one would match my room better, so I went with that instead. Oh, and I also walked past this really cute Neopets pop-up as well on my way home, but I was too anxious to film with so many people there. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you'll keep me company next time too. Bye!